the BBC News on BBC One Scotland with George Alagaya and Fiona Bruce and reporting Scotland with Jackie Bird. It's six o'clock. For the first time since she presented her Brexit deal to MPs, Theresa May says she will go back to Brussels to try to renegotiate it. The House of Commons is debating a number of changes to that deal. The PM says MPs must unite around one idea she can take back to the EU. The world knows what this House does not want. Today, we need to send an emphatic message about what we do want. In reality, Mr Speaker, we're witnessing this uh, long, slow decline of this government as they run down the clock on this. We'll bring the latest on what's happening over in the Commons and which ideas are attracting support. Voting is expected in an hour's time. Also tonight, warnings from the Met Office as icy weather is set to sweep across the UK. A number of roads and schools have been closed in Scotland, Northern England and Wales. And there's more to come. The drug gangs moving from the cities to the towns and villages. The crime agency says it's a national threat. And it's not what you see on the telly. Hundreds of millions of kids have watched this video online. More proof of how children's viewing habits are changing. And on Reporting Scotland at 6.30, we'll have more from Westminster as MPs begin those series of votes. And passenger satisfaction with ScotRail services falls to a 15-year low. Good evening and welcome to the BBC News at 6 from Westminster where MPs are debating now changes to the Prime Minister's Brexit deal and we'll start voting in about an hour's time. And you can hear behind me protesters on both sides of the Brexit divide making their voices heard. For the first time, the Prime Minister has given way and says she is prepared to go back to Brussels to try to renegotiate her original withdrawal agreement, specifically changes to the controversial plan to avoid a hard border between Northern Ireland and Ireland. So far, the EU has insisted it will not change the agreed text. The Labour leader, Jeremy Corbyn, insists Mrs May herself is the obstacle to a solution and that whatever happens tonight, Article 50 and the date by which the UK must leave the EU must be extended. Our first report on today's debate is from our political editor, Laura Koonsberg. <laughs> 